why should we sacrifice ourselves just to fit in? If we can stand out and win like Jimmy Nguyen. Jimmy Nguyen, welcome to the show called Self Made. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. So before you were able to become like that, yes. I'm sure you have a story during your childhood. Sure. So you said you're an American, Vietnamese, or? I'm both. Okay. So uh, my personal story is I was born in Saigon, South Vietnam, and my father was a judge in the South Vietnamese government. Uh, I'm the youngest of four kids, and my parents had to flee Vietnam the night before Saigon fell in April 1975, partly because my father was associated with the South Vietnamese government. So it was necessary for us to leave. Luckily, my family got help from the U.S. government, uh, was taken out of the country. We resettled into Southern California, and my parents worked really hard to uh, settle into a new life in a new country mm -hmm. and raise four kids. Mm -hmm. And so I remember growing up you know, feeling very different in the United States. So how you handle that when you were, yeah. especially when you were elementary and sure. high school? You know, as a kid, I think you try not to think about it too much. Um, my parents wanted us to fit in. That's actually why they had each of the kids when my parents became U.S. citizens choose American names, because Jimmy isn't my birth name. Mm -hmm. um, and they wanted us to fit in, and I think we did our best to fit in. Um, but the lesson I learned later in life is that we, no matter who we are, um, shouldn't try so hard to fit in with everyone else. Instead, my life motto now, um, with my name Jimmy Win, is that why fit in, stand out, and win. And we can really um, do more and empower ourselves by finding what's unique about us, yes. rather than trying to fit in with everyone else. Yes. Be different, be who yeah. you are. Yeah. But of course, when you were a kid, you don't think like that. So no, have you been bullied? No. So the school I went to in elementary school, I think I was one of only a few Asian people. Mm -hmm. And same thing in junior high school. And you know, kids would, you know, make fun of you. They'd ask to see my Bruce Lee karate moves, which of course I don't know any. But they just because you look like him, right? Because I'm Asian, so I must know karate. Um, and there was a part of me I think that always felt like I didn't quite belong. Um, and yeah, so nothing really terrible happened, but I definitely remember feeling like I didn't fit in. Did you ever feel uh, hurt? And did you ever told your parents about it? I think I did feel hurt. Uh, more than anything else, I think I felt awkward. And I learned to sort of internalize it and suppress it and not talk about it. Um, so did I ever tell my parents no? Uh, because I think I had the experience that a lot of Asian kids have, which is we love our parents and we know they love us. But we didn't talk a lot about personal and emotional yes, things yes, when yes. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the kind of relationship I have with them, and it's been nice as an adult to really you know, mm -hmm. sort of change that. Mm -hmm. So I think I sort of kept it in. Mm -hmm. um, and then the additional thing I was dealing with is at some point in my childhood I realized I was gay. Mm -hmm. And so then there's another you know, aspect of me that started mm -hmm. feeling like, oh, I'm different than everyone mm -hmm. else. Um, all of those factors, I can laugh about it now, mm -hmm. But, but then... Yeah, when I was 8, 9, yeah. 10 years old, it, yes. it, um, I think it made me sort of internalize things, yeah. not express things. Um, but then also it made me really focus on being the very best I could be. So when did you become so positive? I think one of the uh, big turning points for me is when I joined my high school speech team. Mm -hmm. And it's like a light switch came on when I thought, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I ended up having a you know, sort of... Uh, talent for public speaking. Okay. I honed it over years. I competed okay. all through high school and college. Okay. I won national gold medals and coached a college speech team to national championships. Wow. And it made me finally have this environment where I went, aha, this is what I'm supposed to do. I, um, I'm a communicator. Okay. I like to inspire people. Yes. I do it from a very positive mm -hmm. perspective. And uh, it allowed me to um, learn how to do it and do it well and it's wow. the thing I try to do most in life no matter what I'm doing whether it was law in my early career wow. or now working in Bitcoin and blockchain is finding the positive inspirational message in everything uh, oh. and make people smile <laughs> like you I think that that's the best thing we can yes, do in life is make yes, other people yes, smile yes so what's your best message to these uh, children right now mm -hmm. especially people who's going through a lot of Challenges. My best advice to people is to realize you're not alone and everything you're going through, other people have gone through, and it's okay to feel bad, it's okay to feel angry, and it's okay to ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, my other big piece of advice I give to kids is to realize that we're all different, mm -hmm. and as I said before, not fight that, don't try mm -hmm. to fit in, mm -hmm. is to learn what is unique about you. Yeah. Instead of feeling awkward about it, it's hard to understand it when you're young, yeah. but that's what will give someone their power and difference one day. Yeah. How can we stop bullying? 
I'm especially sensitive about this topic mm -hmm. for young LGBT kids, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Because these are kids just finding out who they are, yeah. right? And no one wants to be picked on and bullied, whether it's in person or mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. because they're different. Mm -hmm. In schools, you know, I wish there was more um, education and dialogue mm -hmm. about why bullying is bad and yeah. to stop bullying. I wish that we had in schools um, uh, making kids more comfortable reporting bullying. Sometimes people are afraid to report it, right? Because they think the bullying will get worse. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish parents learned to talk about it more with kids. It's a hard yeah. thing to talk about. Yeah, no yeah, parent's yeah. perfect at it. Yes. Um, so those are things I wish we could do. So what's your best message to the bullies? You won't cure what's wrong in your own heart or what you feel bad about by making someone else feel worse. So, so what they should do? Be honest about the feelings. And it's a hard thing. Kids, you know, it's hard to control kids. But there's adult bullies as well. Um, I think that um, if someone is being mean or bullying to someone else, they should hopefully be open to someone saying to them, why are you doing this? Why does it make you feel better? And what does it say about you? And if someone's able to confront that inner conversation, maybe they'll be able to reduce or stop the bullying. So, to go back to you, yeah. what was your biggest fear? I always um, wanted to be really good and successful at whatever I did uh, to make my parents proud, to feel like a sense of accomplishment. And so my biggest fear all along, I think, has been failure. If I was doing something, would I not do it well? I also realized as an adult, that's what kept me from doing greater things. Um, in fact, a good friend and colleague of mine once asked why I wasn't leaving a legal career after so many years. Because I had built a great career and I was good at it. And he looked at me and said, Hi, I figured it out. You're afraid to fail. And because of that, you're not trying new and bigger things. But it's okay to try new and bigger things as long as you're prepared to fail. How do you feel to be the most influential LGBT icon, not only in Asia, but in the world? So it was really an honor. It made me feel that I had come full circle in my personal journey. From being the kid who felt very different mm -hmm. um, and not fitting in because yeah. I was Asian and gay, mm -hmm. to now being recognized as someone who stood out, mm -hmm. right, for those exact characteristics. Mm -hmm. It made me also feel like I have a lot more work to do. I can help inspire more people so that one day, kids growing up don't have to feel as bad because they're different for being a racial minority or gay in the countries in which they live. Jimmy Win, welcome. Yeah. Thank, you <laughs> Thank you very much. Every success has its struggles. Every dream has its trials and tests. Listen to their stories, because if they did it, you can also be called self-made. <laughs>